Let us look at how to check the diffuse error with the diffuse forcing jig. When FDH error occurs, remove the diffuse sensor and connect the diffuse forcing jig. Diffuse forcing jig is used to check the diffuse voltage output from the main PCB. Connect the jig and press test on main PCB. Beeping sounds occurs four times and fourth diffuse mode is engaged. Let us check 220 volt here output voltage from PCB. This connector is the diffuse heater connector. And they are used for deals refrigerators. Let us check the diffuse heater voltage. The output voltage is AC 215 volt. The diffuse voltage from main PCB is normal. When voltage can be measured, check if the heater generates heat by hand. Take caution for burns and keep away to measure temperature. We can see that it is being heated. If FDH error occurs, Heater should be checked first. If output voltage is normal, but the heater does not give up heat, the default heater needs to be checked. Let us measure resistance at both ends of the default heater. Normal resistance of 185 ohms is observed. If the M fuse to heater is disconnected, heater resistance is infinite to show disconnection. Therefore, the diffuse heater needs to be replaced. The diffuse heater has been removed, but if the M fuse, the brown and blue wires are M fuses. When the diffuse sensor is defective, temperature fuse can be blown. When it happens, the diffuse heater does not keep heat. Let us look at how to check temperature fuse. Measure resistance at both ends of brown and blue wires. Let us try measuring resistance.
Resistance of zero ohm is observed, and it is not disconnected. If infinite ohm is seen, the different sensor assembly need to be replaced. If the diffuse heater voltage is not 220 volts, main PCB heater connectors, inner wires, heater connector, and connector pins in home case need to be checked. If wires and connectors appear normal, measure diffuse voltage from the main PCB. The first heater voltage is AC 216 volts. Therefore, main PCB is normal. If the first heater voltage is 0 volt, the first heater relay needs to be checked first. If only relay is defective, it can be replaced. However, if really actuation voltage of DC 12 volts cannot be measured, main PCB assembly has to be replaced.